Hello and welcome back. So we have our hydrogen combustion engine here. Normally I inject water in there to help cool it down whilst, whilst running. But today I'm going to be swapping that water for petrol, methanol and diesel and seeing what happens. I'm going to have to modify the hydrogen carburetor to allow more oxygen or more air to be drawn into the engine to run these fuels. Um, but we'll just give it a go and see what happens. Okay, so I've modified the hydrogen carburetor now, so it's going to allow for more oxygen going into the into the engine. We've got the petrol in there, so let's fire it up. I've reduced the amount of hydrogen going into the engine. Normally it runs at about 6 psi. I'm going to be running half to see what happens initially. Obviously this is a petrol engine that's been converted to running hydrogen, so running it on petrol is nothing special and it should run absolutely fine. But uh, let's fire it up. Nothing really special there, we've got it running on petrol and the hydrogen mix, the hydrogen was only set to 1 or 2 psi as you can see. I'm now going to drain the petrol out and run 100% alcohol and do the exact same thing and then finally we'll do it with diesel. Okay, so that was the, the methanol and the hydrogen mix and that ran a lot better than it did with the petrol and hydrogen mix. Uh, I did have to use more hydrogen than I did have to do with the petrol though, so a bit of a, a balance to do there. Uh, I had to tweak the idling, 
but it ran perfectly well. So let's drain it out and put diesel in and see what happens. So that ran surprisingly well. I thought it wouldn't run, it run at all, but uh, that, that was running almost on 100% diesel at that point. I actually turned the hydrogen down all the way to the bottom, as low as I could go to maintain it running. Basically, the diesel is an additive to the hydrogen, except that was 90% diesel and the rest was hydrogen just to get that ignition inside the engine. Um, usually it's compression ignition diesel, but we're using the spark plug of the engine to ignite the hydrogen, the hydrogen's igniting the diesel, and then the engine is running. Uh, just to prove that, what we're gonna do is get the engine up to full RPM, full throttle, and then turn the hydrogen almost completely off, and you will see it chunking out plumes of smoke. The engine is vibrating like mad, so I'm getting a lot of knock. The engine doesn't really like it, but it is running. Amazingly, it is running. So I'm gonna fire it up again, get the engine, up to operating temperature again. I'm gonna try and not make the exhaust glow as much as it did this time. But then I'm gonna turn the hydrogen all the way down and see if it can run with no hydrogen at all at full RPM. Let's give it a go. Okay, so again, I turned the gas down as low as I could go without it completely cutting out. I was barely running one PSI at full RPM. That was mainly diesel power, what we just saw there. Um, a lot of spluttering, less vibration than there was before. That is pretty damn cool. So we've got it running on hydrogen, petrol, methanol, and diesel. That's brilliant. Okay, so it's confirmed it does run on diesel as well. So the ultimate question is now is, will it run on black diesel or homemade diesel? We've got some old engine oil, some petrol. Let's do a 20% mix with the engine oil, pour it in and see what happens. Let's see if we can roll some coal with this hydrogen combustion engine.
Oops. diesel in a hydrogen engine that was originally converted from a petrol engine. Fantastic.